from Scotland. I went to the University of Glasgow, did an honours degree in psychology, and then did a postgraduate degree in teacher training. Once I graduated, I went straight into teaching, and I loved the children, but all the while, I felt this other sort of pull towards music. My dad is a jazz guitarist, and that's how I first started playing music and singing at his jazz gigs. So I just had to take the leap, and to go to America was always in my heart. I know my granddad loved America. I think maybe I got it from him. What fueled that inspiration to make such a big change? I went to a Q&A session with Sir Richard Branson. What, what are your plans? Well, I've just actually left a career in teaching to do um, music, so I need to, you know, just screw it, just do it. So on a screw it, just do it moment, why don't you just sing us a song? Um, i just do it. And this was the moment. If Sir Richard Branson asked you to sing, you sing. I was freaking out inside, I just had to be brave. Yeah, wow. You're incredible. Something else I want to show you. Hi, Natalie. Richard Branson here. Oh I just wanted to wish you all the very, very, very best for the blind edition on The Voice. Oh, my God. Yeah. The coaches are known all over the world. I actually can't believe it's happening. And for the coaches to turn for me, it would be a way to know I'm doing the right thing. I'm all in, I've crossed the Atlantic, I'm here to do music. I'm so excited. Oh, here we go. Be a good one, be a good one. No banjo. There mm -hmm. she stood in the street, smiling from her head to her feet. I said, hey. What is this? My baby made the baby. She's in need of a kiss. I took her home to my place. Watching every move on her face. She said, look, watch your game, baby. What's your name? Natalie Clark from Scotland. Oh, oh that's yeah. the why it's Natalie. It's Natalie. <laughs> it's Natalie in Oklahoma. Uh, <laughs> I was so ready to hit this button. Your verses were, I thought, incredible, and your courses felt like you were restraining yourself. It was enough that I didn't hit my button. But man, those verses were so good. Thank you, Blake. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Natalie, you really had it going on in the beginning. If you can strengthen the upper register to be as effortless as the lower, I think we're in business. Thank you so much, Adam. <laughs> Keep going. Just make sure you're enjoying it and allowing people to feel your personality because that's what's going to make people turn around in our chairs to ask that question, like, who's that girl? I used to cover that song, and I used to have so much fun with that, just getting people, oh, right now. Yeah, you know this, oh, oh, right now. You know what wow. I mean? Like, there's so many opportunities to play with, and I just was wanting to hear more of that, like, beast in there come out, because you have a cool, powerful voice. Thank you, Christina. <laughs> All I've ever looked for from the first season of this show is to be inspired. Thank you, Adam. Good. Natalie just didn't have the control that she needed. If she had just been able to control herself a little more, I think she would have had some success. Oh, my goodness. It was the nerves and everything, and I was just trying to hold it together. Would you give it another go? Yeah!